Hi guys, um, just finished work and um, I have a few minutes to do a very quick um, video. Um, yesterday I received a package in the mail, here it is, um, I'll not show the front because it's still got the addresses on it, um, but I will show you it has fragile phonograph records and this little import thing and also eek it cost a lot to post it I knew you were crazy when you were setting out on this um, challenge and um, yeah this proves it um, postage is unfortunately the killer of VCLT um, but this isn't really VCLT it's competition price um, so thanks to um, Bill um, who's uh, had a great thread um, it's been one of the most interesting ones um, for a while where he got people to show um, something that they didn't like or didn't get didn't get was probably uh, what it was and then in all this craziness he decided to give everyone that entered a prize um, and this is mine mine has a right he sent out a list and you could choose from the list but I chose hastily and um, have actually forgotten I think I can remember one um, but I've forgotten what the other one was um, but also it says that there's a compact disc in here as well which I didn't choose so um, I wanted to do a live opening um, this arrived yesterday actually um, and it was posted on the 18th it arrived yesterday the 25th which is my was actually my wedding anniversary my 8th wedding anniversary um, and so it took exactly a week to get here which is Pretty quick, I'd say. Um, but anyway, open it up, and inside we have the letter. Uh, probably showed my address then, never mind. Um, Thanks for entering the contest, and I hope you enjoy these records, both fine choices. The Residence, which one is in near perfect shape, um, and the Ambrosia one is well loved but still usable and maybe in need of a little cleaning. Uh, and he's put in a copy of a CD cheese sandwich. Um, cool, so, uh, brilliant. Right, so, here we go. First album, um, The Residents. Now, The Residents are a band that got shown a lot um, in the VC and I must confess they were not a band I'd heard of until I joined the VC I think they're probably one of these ones that's a kind of cult band in the States but as I've certainly to this point had never really noticed or heard of them in the UK um, and this is a live uh, yeah, thirtieth anniversary show uh, live in Japan. Um, so I don't know whether this is going to be the best introduction to the band that I could have, but um, the opportunity was too good to pass. Um, so I'm pleased I finally have some residents and see what all the fuss is about. Um, there's a cool label there. Um, So, very pleased to have this. Um, it's a kind of strange cutting, or a kind of curved one. I've not seen that before. And it looks, it almost looks too neat to actually be a cutting, if you know what I mean, whether it's actually supposed to be there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, well, there they are with all their kind of eyeball heads that they have. Um, so yeah, so that's the first thing. Really pleased to have that. Um, 
Oh, and a three inch, a three inch CD of um, God uh, in three persons, which is one of these cool. Japanese three inch CDs, um, Raikou disc. So I'll have fun listening to that. Um, oh, that's his cheese sandwich one um, that he was speaking about. There it is, by, there he is, Dave Verada, cheese sandwich. Such a great cover that, I do like that. And I like a cheese sandwich. So That's brilliant, I'll give that a spin and definitely let you know what I thought. Um, and finally, um, the album by Ambrosia, which was another group that I'd never heard of. Um, it's on 20th Century Records. Um, I think it's kind of proggy. But I figured I'm not paying for something. I, initially, I seem to remember there was Beck and Jack White, seven inches that I thought about going for. Um, but I thought, no, because it's stuff that I know. I would I would go for things that I didn't know. And this was an album that I didn't know by bands that I didn't know, but a cover that I thought looked very cool. Um, they kind of look quite cool on the back there as well. Um, I don't know what the label looks like. Yeah, yeah, 20th. Yes. So yeah, so fantastic. Um, I'll look forward to listening to that. Ooh. And also a sticker as well. Support your local musician. The House of Guitars. Um, yeah, I have a friend who is a very good guitarist. Um, so this might possibly head his way. We live in, a, even though we live in a small group of islands, musically, there it's a very, there's some very, very talented, talented people here. Um, Especially when it comes to folk music, um, you know, every other person grows up playing the fiddle, and uh, you know, folk music has a very strong influence on the islands. Um, there's, there is still a lot of rock. There's a lot of cover bands which are very good, but they're still cover bands. I wish there was more people doing um, their own, their own music. Um, but uh, yeah so I think I might give this to my friend Bob because um, he's probably one of the best guitarists up here very very good um, and I think he'll like this um, so Dave um, thank you I don't know why I called you Dave Bill Bill, um, thank you so much um, for sending me these. I'm really looking forward to having a listen to these, especially the Ambrosia one, um, and actually the Residence one as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what all the fuss is about. Um, yeah, so thank you, and um, sorry it's cost you so much in postage. Um, but that's just the way it is. Um, I sent out some VC earlier on, VCLT earlier on in the week. So hopefully, in fact, last week, last week. Um, so hopefully that should be arriving soonish. Um, I'm not going to say who it's to. I did say I had it, and I was going to send it out to them, so they know about it, but they don't know I've sent it. And there's a little treat in there for them as well. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Um,
brilliant, brilliant package and uh, I look forward to showing them in my next vinyl update and let you know what I think. Um, I picked up another couple of things as well but I'll show them um, at the same time once I've, uh, once I've had a chance to listen. Um, yeah, so thanks again Bill. Um, watch his channel, he's uh, crazy but good fun and um, yeah, take care.